Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn Class 7, AP State New Syllabus, Chapter 1, Integers. Today we are going to learn review exercise of first chapter. Before going to the exercise, let us see what is number system. See here natural numbers, counting numbers such as 1, 2, 3, so on are called as natural numbers. The set of all natural numbers can be represented by capital letter N that equals to set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. So natural numbers are counting numbers. Now let us see what are whole numbers. See now what are whole numbers. If we include 0 among the natural numbers, then the numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, so on are called as whole numbers. The set of whole numbers can be represented by capital letter W that equals to set of 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Clearly we can say every natural number is a whole number but all whole numbers cannot be natural numbers. Why? Because 0 is a whole number which is not a natural number. Let us see now what are integers. All counting numbers and their negatives including 0 are known as integers. The set of integers can be represented by capital letter Z or capital letter I that equals to set of minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, so on. So now let us see what are positive integers that equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. These all are positive integers. Let us see what are negative integers I minus that equals to set of Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. All these are negative integers. Now let us see what are non-negative integers. 0, 1, 2, 3, so on. All these are called non-negative integers. Note we have to remember 0 is neither positive nor negative. Now clearly we understand that the collection of natural numbers that is set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on. 0 and negative numbers set of minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, so on are called as integers. There are several situations in our daily life where we use integers. Let us see the example. Temperature above 0 degree Celsius is positive. Temperature below 0 degree Celsius is negative. Let us see review exercise. First sum. Represent the following statements with suitable integer. See the first one. Sneha deposited 2000 rupees in her savings account. Deposited means we have to represent with positive sign. So the answer is plus 2000 rupees. See the second one. A submarine is in the depth of 350 feet. In the sea level. Depth we have to represent with negative sign. So the answer is minus 350 feet. See the third one. The height of Mount Everest is 8848 meters above the sea level. Above the sea level we have to represent with positive sign. So the answer is plus 8,848 meters. See the fourth one. Temperature of 14 degrees below 0 degree Celsius. Below 0 degrees can be represented with negative sign. So the answer is minus 14 degrees Celsius. See now second question. Fill the missing integers on the number line. Here in this number line, they have given only few numbers, minus 7, minus 3, 0, 4 and 6. Now, we have to fill the remaining missing integers on this number line. Minus 8, next minus 9, minus 10, minus 11, minus 7 after, minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, minus 3 after, minus 2, minus 1. Next is 0 after 1, 2, 3, 4 is given. Next 5, 
6 is given. Next, 7, 8. Let us see addition of integers. On a number line, when we add a positive integer, we move right side on the number line. And if a negative integer is added, we move to the left side on the number line. Now, let us see subtraction of integers. On the number line, if we subtract a positive integer, we move to the left side. And if we subtract a negative integer, we move to the right side on a number line. See now question number 3 represent the following additions and subtractions on number line. See the first one 7 plus 4 that equals to 11. See here when two positive integers when you add you will get a positive integer. So 7 plus 4 equals to 11. Now let us add this on the number line. First we have to show 7 from 0 onwards you mark at 7. Now, we must add 4. So, 7 after count 4 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 7 onwards you mark after 4 numbers that is 11. So, 7 plus 4 gives answer 11. See, second one, minus 8 plus 3. That means one negative integer and one positive integer. When you add, you will get Either positive or negative integer. See here minus 8 plus 3. Here 8 is greatest number and its sign is minus. Whenever opposite sign is there we have to do subtraction. So 8 minus 3 is 5. Here greatest integer is 8 and its sign is minus. So keep here minus sign. So minus 8 plus 3 answer is minus 5. First, we have to show minus 8 on the number line. So, 0 onwards, we have to show minus 8. Then, after 3 numbers, we must add. So, 8 after 1, 2, 3. So, minus 8 onwards, you mark it minus 5. That is, 3 numbers we added. So, write down here minus 8 plus 3 gives us answer minus 5. See the third sum now, 9 minus 11. 9 minus 11, here we have to do subtraction. So, 11 minus 9, 2. Here, big number is 11 and its sign is minus. So, keep minus sign and answer is 2. So, 9 minus 11, answer is minus 2. So, 0 onwards, we mark at 9. Now, we have to subtract 11. So, 9 onwards, backward, you count 11 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, 9 onwards, you mark at minus 2. So, 9 minus 11, we get answer minus 2. See, fourth sum, 13 minus 5. That equals to 8. 0 onwards, 13 we must mark. So, 13 onwards, backward count 5 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 13 onwards, we mark at 8. So, 13 minus 5, we get answer 8. Let us see the fourth question. Write the following integers in descending and ascending order. See the first one, minus 9, minus 1, 0. Minus 10, minus 6. First, let us see ascending order. Ascending order means arranging the numbers from small to big. Here, integers when we are taken, remember the number line from left to right. So, same order if you write that is ascending order. Minus 10. So, write on here, small integer is here, minus 10. Next, you will get minus 9. Then after minus 6. Then after minus 1. And then 0. So, this is our ascending order. Small to big, we have arranged the given integers. See, descending order. Descending order means arranging the numbers from big to small. 0, minus 1, minus 6, minus 9, minus 10. Now, let us see the second sum. Minus 6, plus 6, minus 9, plus 5, plus 10 and minus 3. Minus 9. 
Then after minus 6. Next minus 3. Then after 5. Next 6. Then after 10. Now let us write descending order that is reverse of it. Let us write greatest integer that is 10. Next 6. 5. Next minus 3. Minus 6. Minus 9. See now third sum. Minus 15. Minus 20. Minus 35. 0 and 2. Here smallest integer is minus 35. Then after minus 20. Next minus 15. 0 and 2. Now we have to write descending order. That is reverse of this ascending order. So write down numbers from greatest to smallest. So write in greatest integer is 2. Then after 0. Next minus 15. Minus 20. And minus 35. Today we have seen class 7. AP State New CBS Syllabus First Chapter Integers Review Exercise 1 to 4 Sums. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.